Hey guys, welcome back. It's Joji and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. I do makeup tutorials and makeup reviews here. So if you want to see more of my future videos, make sure that you are subscribed with the notification bell so that you are updated whenever I have a new content. And in today's video, I am going to show you guys more shades from NARS Air Matte Lip Color. So I have here, I know it is cute, it is popular, and it's really good, comfortable on the lips. That is why I bring more shades for you guys to see. I do have a first batch of shades already, so if you want to see that shade as well, I'm going to pop the thumbnail on the screen right now so you know exactly what to look for. And then I'm going to also include the link on the description down below so that you guys can just click on that if you are interested. Now the colors that I have here is the new addition to the first batch that they launched. I think that was last year and it's so popular. A lot of people are looking for it and it's sold out. They added more colors. So I have five shades right here. It is All Yours, Joyride, Morocco, Surrender, and Lose Control. I am super excited to try these guys. And if you are excited too, if you are interested with the colors, then let's go ahead and start the video. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you guys a swatch before I demo them on the lips so that you guys can see on the swatch and on the lips as well because I obviously have a different lip undertone. So let's start with the shade All Yours. So this is the lightest shade that I have in this collection. And I got this for a specific reason. I know that this is not going to look good with my skin tone, but because such a neutral color, I can mix it with anything. I could even do with ombre look or just anything if I find my lipstick a little bit too dark. I know that I can mix this. It is a beautiful color, but not for my tone. Maybe for like a fair skin, it would look really good. So I'm going to give you a swatch. It is such a beautiful formula like I, I said earlier. So that is the swatch of all yours. Very, very light as you see. And now I'm going to apply it on my lips. See that? It just washes me off. It's very, very light. It doesn't, it looks just white on my lips or like almost gray. There it is. Like I said, I picked this up for a specific reason and I know it's not going to look good for me by itself, but I really like the shade, you know, for mixing something else. And it's really good for like, you know, just to kind of tone down any shades that you feel like it's too dark for you. It's a good one. So now let's move on to the next shade. I'm going to try the Joyride. Here is how Joyride looks like. It is super cute. And I love this shade. I'm thinking about this two together. It's just for like a bridal look. It's really, really good. So I'm going to use this for a client. Just a good one. So swatches of Joyride. It's actually really pretty in even like in person. So that is how it looks like. I swatches really funny, guys. So just bear with me. I don't know why I'm not good at swatches, but I'm going to try it for you. And like again, I said, this is probably not the most flattering shade for me, but I'm also thinking about spring. You know, I should probably stop talking too. <laughs> so you can totally build up with the color on your lips as well. So right now I'm just having it really um, thin on my lips, but it's giving me enough color. Actually, that's not too bad looking at myself right now so it's a really good shade for like spring summer or like i said bright color it's really really good so i'm just gonna build up there it is a really pretty color i do love that nice one so take a look at one more time before i remove it and the swatch as well there you go all right, let's move on to the next shade, which is Morocco. I am excited about this one. I know this is such a popular shade. Everybody was looking for it, and I'm so glad I get to have one. So this is how it looks like outside, and I'm going to give you a swatch. Oh my goodness, it's just a gorgeous color, really good for like summer, fall makeup, such a warm with orangey red undertone. 
look at how it looks like oh goodness my swatch is just going sideways right now but anyway so i'm going to uh, demo it on the lips as well hmm. so you can just apply a really little amount and then you're good to go if you just like something very thin and especially when you're wearing a mask this is a good alternative for just having something on your lips not too pale so when you remove your mask you're good to go right so but then i want to build up So this is the shade Morocco, as you see, huge difference between all yours and this one. This one absolutely looks stunning on my undertone, which is, like I always said, I'm always drawn to this kind of shade. Such a pretty color on any medium tone or any fair skin is actually looking good. If you have more of a pink undertone lips, it would look good as well. Very pretty for the spring. So far, all the shades that I tried is good and they have a different purpose. That is why I bought them. But this shade that I just tried right now, if I have to choose one favorite shade out of these colors that I have, I know on my first batch that I did review, my favorite shade there is called Thrust, which is kind of similar to this one, but Morocco is just a little bit darker. That one is a little bit more on a brown, pinky, peachy. It's really good one as well, but looking at this one right now, I could already tell that this is going to be my favorite shade on this batch. So I'm just gonna throw it out there because I already know the moment I saw this, that's it. I'm going to get that. That's going to be my favorite. So yes, I think Morocco is a good one, guys. If you don't have it yet, make sure that you have it because it's just a really, really good shade. Let's move on to the next shade, which is I'm also excited. I'm actually excited for all of this. Um, this one is in shade Surrender. All right, so I cleaned my lips. Now let's move on to this shade. I'm going to give you a swatch. Hopefully it's not crooked this time. I don't know. I can't tell, but I'm going to give you a good visual right here. Let's see. And this is how it looks like here on the last one. <laughs> and yes, my swatches are crooked again, but that is a good shade definitely. And now let's apply it. Okay, I'm just being careful here. I'm also wearing a white, so I don't know why. Mm. yeah see like i really really love this formula because you don't feel it like it's so thin it's like so airy and that's why it's so good under the mask too like again i said if you want something like that that's enough but let's build up okay so this one actually surprises me because on the swatch, it looks pretty good, but when I applied it on my lips, it just looks like my lips. Like, I don't know, like maybe it's just the light or the camera, but it's not as dark. I was expecting it to be a little darker because right now, if you look at it, it just kind of like wash me off a little bit. I guess I have to, to do a different makeup, but this is pretty much a good makeup for any lipstick that you're going to wear. I purposely do this kind of makeup so that it would look good, but I was just a little bit surprised that it's not dark enough. So anyway, that is the shade Surrender. Let's move on to the next one, and this is the Loose Control, and I'm pretty sure this is dark enough because I have swatched this. So I'm going to clean my lips, and then we'll be right back with the next shade. So before I remove this, by the way, take a look at one more time. I actually went on the other room to look at my makeup because I feel like this light is a little bit too bright for me to see. It is actually not bad because it's almost like a nude brown. There's a little bit of orange in there, but it's likely more of a brown one. Really, really nude for my lips. So I think I will need a darker lip liner in order for this to work, but it's actually really pretty i really like that and right now i'm looking at a different angle too which is not too bad so yes but still i was expecting just a tiny bit darker for me to show on my lips so take a look at our time and then we are really good to go with the next one okay so last shade that i have here is the loose control 
Let's open this up and show you the shade. And I made a mess. Okay, this is how it looks like. Let me give you a swatch. Let's see. No. Yes, so this one has definitely more pigment. It's a bit darker with brown red undertone. And that is how it looks like over there. There you go. So all the swatch so far as you see. And now I'm going to apply this. Oh yeah, this shade is badass. Like, I just love the shade. It's really good. You can just leave it like that and you have the color. That is why I like the Surrender to have just a little bit more pigment or like color under it because if you just wipe just a little bit, it gives you that color. But I find it that you really have to apply it full so that you can see the color and it doesn't wash you off. Let's build up. So there you go guys, the shade Lose Control. It is such a beautiful color. It adds drama on your makeup, which is really, really good. And I, like I said, I appreciate it with a little bit more pigment and color under it because you can just apply one swipe, thin layer, and you're good to go and you can wear it under your mask. But let this dry before you put your mask and then it shouldn't move or it might be moving a little bit, but it's not going everywhere on your uh, face because I have tried that. And so, you know, this line, I already love it. And this is why I grabbed a few more shades for you guys to see. I was just a little bit disappointed with the shade Surrender because I was really looking forward to this. I actually went to the store and they were sold out of this. So I have to order this shade separately online. So it came just by itself in, in a really big box. So I couldn't really understand why they have to ship it that way. Like such a big box with one product, like any tiny product inside but anyway also remind you that every one of us has a different lip undertone so it looked different on me and it will look different on you as well and probably this surrender if you have just a little bit lighter undertone on your lips it's probably going to look really good but because mine is kind of like a dark purpley plum undertone it's really really hard for me to pull off sometimes when i try to put a nude or something so i really have to correct my lips but other than that it's such a good formula very comfortable it's a mask a friendly lipstick so it's really really good and i'm just hoping that you guys enjoy the video and you find the shades that you are looking for i'm pretty sure but yes if you are curious to see my first uh, video about this line I'm going to put the link on the description down below so that you guys can click on that. And I hope you find this video fun and useful and let me know what shade is your favorite. Let me know what shade are you looking forward to get and I hope you can find them. These are regular products so I'm sure that you can get them unless they are sold out. So that's everything from me tonight guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video. Also subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you are updated whenever I have a new video. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye guys! I made a mess. <laughs> oh no, at the very end of my video, why does these things need to be happening?